Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Nolan or the Optimistic Gamer here and welcome back to another video where today we are going to be building this. This is the 1970 Mac RS 700L, a request sent in by Slushy Husky. I really appreciate the request and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Today we will um, well, we're just going to dive right into it. We will need black concrete, smooth stone slabs, smooth quartz slabs, quartz stairs, and smooth quartz blocks, gray stained glass, and gray stained glass panes, and of course we will need the finer detail materials later on, but we can't fit all of those in our hotbar, so we will stick with these seven for now. The first thing you want to do is place your two front wheels. The truck is going to be facing this way. And then leave a one, two, three, four, five block gap on the sixth block. Two more wheels and then leave a one block gap behind those and place two more. Then place a row of smooth stone slabs going down the middle just like that. And make a T shape in the front. Next, from the front wheels, leave a one block gap and then place two stone slabs on the sides, just like that. And then take your black concrete and place two in the middle, just like that. Next, um, place two upside down backwards quartz stairs on either side of the bottom concrete block that we just placed. On top of those, place full quartz blocks, actually, never mind, place sideways uh, quartz stairs, just like that. And then place, let's see, place a stair right side up, um, sideways, on the front stone slab blocks there and there. Then place some upside down quartz stairs facing the front, just like that and place some slabs on the upper half of that block above the front tire. Then here in the back we are going to place one, two, and one, two quartz blocks. If I can place it, there we go. And then connect those in the middle. Now we are going to bring this stair in the front back by one and turn it just like this and then place a quartz block in between those stairs and then place a row of three quartz blocks going across the front and we can also fill in this gap in the middle with quartz blocks all the way through. Next we want to place another row of quartz blocks just like this and then place some quartz stairs facing the back like that and then some more quartz blocks, just like that. And then place here in the middle, place one, two gray stained glass, and then do an upside down quartz stair facing the back. So we get this um, one block high window, but it's only half a block wide. Then we are going to place another row of quartz blocks in the back, just like that and then place two uh, gray stained glass blocks in front of those quartz blocks right there. Place a row of gray stained glass panes across the front. On top of those panes, place three quartz stairs facing the front just like that. And then on top of all these blocks back here, place a row of quartz slabs. So that's the first part. Now let's move into the second part. Alright, for these materials, you are going to want white carpet, ladders, iron bars, black stained glass panes, stone buttons, and andesite walls. I'm, I'm trying andesite now because it has more of a silver look compared to the stone brick walls. Not a whole lot more, but definitely more. So I'm going to be using andesite walls now for the exhaust pipes. And we can actually start with those. This is going to start on the left side of the truck if you're facing it. 
and it is going to be the first andesite wall is going to be placed at the same level behind this uh, bottom quartz stair right here and then place one two three on top of it moving to the front on this bottom row of three blocks place one two three iron bars and then on this top black concrete block place a ladder and then place two white carpet across the front middle blocks just like that on the sides of the glass panes place some black stained glass panes for the mirrors and place iron bars underneath those and then we can place some buttons under the glass blocks on each side and to finish everything off we will place the buttons on the wheels and call this truck good. Well guys, if you did enjoy this video and you do want to see more just like this, please let me know in the comments. And if you have any requests, you can send those to me in a few different ways. You can email them to me or send them to me on Twitter. That information will be, um, I'll give you guys that in just a second. But the way I prefer that you guys do it is to use the Google form. It is the first link in the description. It is an anonymous form, but you have the option to put your name there if you want. And this will expedite your request ahead of all the YouTube comment requests, which is the last way that you can send in requests. It's just easier for me to manage the Google form, which is why I prefer you guys use that method. So if you send a request that way, it will be fulfilled a lot faster. All right, so you guys can contact me at contactoptimisticgamer at gmail.com. My Twitter is at optimisticgmr, and my website is optimisticgamer.weebly.com. No texture packs in this video, but um, this is 1.16.5, so if you guys... Um, want to build this I mean you can really use any recent version and this truck will work and if you are using a texture pack you can use similar looking blocks or a completely new set of blocks just make sure that block variant has stairs slabs and full blocks but other than that guys that's pretty much it uh, be sure to comment, rate, subscribe. Remember to stay optimistic, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye.